Welcome viewers to an exciting new module on Internet of Things with Python. In this module, we will delve into the fascinating world of IoT and explore how Python, a versatile and powerful programming language, can be used to create innovative IoT solutions. Python is widely used in the Internet of Things, IoT, for several reasons, simplicity and clean syntax. Python's easy-to-understand syntax and simplicity make it an ideal language for beginners and experienced developers alike. It allows developers to focus on the logic of their IoT applications without getting bogged down in complex code structures. Large online community Python has a vast and active online community of developers, which means abundant resources, tutorials, and support are readily available. This community contributes to the popularity and continuous development of Python in the IoT domain. Versatility for backend and software development. Python can be used for both backend development, building server-side applications, and software development for IoT devices. Its versatility makes it an attractive choice for creating diverse IoT solutions. Compatibility with Linux devices. Python works seamlessly with Linux-based IoT devices, which are widely used in the IoT ecosystem. This compatibility allows developers to leverage Python's capabilities in Linux environments. MicroPython for microcontrollers. MicroPython, a lightweight version of Python, is optimized for microcontrollers, making it well-suited for resource-constrained IoT devices. MicroPython enables developers to program microcontrollers using familiar Python syntax. Python's combination of simplicity, extensive community support, and compatibility with various IoT devices and platforms makes it a powerful and popular choice for IoT development, catering to both beginners and seasoned professionals. Some of the best solutions for IoT in the Python programming language are Python on Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a popular single board computer widely used in IoT projects. Python's compatibility with Raspberry Pi makes it an excellent choice for developing IoT applications on this platform. Python allows developers to access GPIO, general purpose input, output, pins, and interact with sensors and actuators easily. Python on Pi Board. Pi Board is a microcontroller board specifically designed for running MicroPython. It provides a convenient way to develop IoT applications using Python on resource constrained devices. Python's simplicity and MicroPython's capabilities make Pi Board an attractive option for low power IoT projects. ESP8266, ESP32 with MicroPython, especially 8266 and 32 Spanish pesetas are popular Wi-Fi enabled microcontrollers, and they can run MicroPython. These microcontrollers are cost-effective and have built-in Wi-Fi connectivity, making them suitable for various IoT applications. Python's ease of use and MicroPython's lightweight implementation offer a smooth development experience for IoT solutions on these devices. These solutions demonstrate the versatility of Python in the IoT domain, catering to both full-fledged single-board computers like Raspberry Pi and resource-constrained microcontrollers like Pi Board and 8266 Spanish pesetas per 32 Spanish pesetas. Python's presence on these platforms opens up endless possibilities for creating innovative and efficient IoT applications with ease. Python on Raspberry Pi offers a convenient and popular solution for IoT development. Since Python comes pre-installed on the Raspberry Pi operating system, developers can easily start writing their code. The Raspberry Pi's expansion bar allows control of I.O. ports, making it ideal for interacting with sensors and actuators. With Python's user-friendly syntax, creating IoT applications on the Raspberry Pi becomes a seamless experience. An example of how to use Python on a Raspberry Pi to control the I.O. ports using the GPIO0 library. The objective of this example is to demonstrate how to interact with external hardware connected to the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins. Let's break down the code step by step. Importing required modules, 
The first step is to import the necessary modules that we need to control the GPIO pins. GPIO0 is a Python library that simplifies working with GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Time is a standard Python module used for adding delays in the code. Creating a button object. In the next step, a button object is created and linked to a specific GPIO pin. In this example, the button is connected to GPIO pin 2. The button class is part of the GPO0 library, and it provides a convenient way to interact with buttons or switches connected to GPIO pins. The argument 2 passed to button specifies the GPIO pin number to which the button is connected. Once this initialization is done, we can use the the underscore button object to interact with the button connected to GPIO pin 2. For example, we can check if the button is pressed, wait for the button to be pressed or released, etc. By using the GPIO0 library in Python on the Raspberry Pi, developers can easily control various external hardware components and sensors, enabling them to create a wide range of exciting IoT projects. The given code snippet demonstrates the use of the GPIO0 library in Python on Raspberry Pi to control the I.O. ports, specifically, how to work with a button connected to GPIO pin 2. The code uses an if-else statement to check the status of the button continuously. This is achieved using a while loop that runs indefinitely, while true, inside the while loop. The code checks the status of the button using the is underscore pressed attribute of the the underscore button object. The is underscore pressed attribute returns true if the button is pressed and false if the button is not pressed. Depending on the status of the button, the code prints either button pressed or button released. After checking the button status, the code adds a delay of one second using the sleep function from the time module. This delay ensures that the button status is checked at regular intervals. The code continuously monitors the status of the button and prints the appropriate message depending on whether the button is pressed or released. This example showcases a simple button interaction using Python and the GPIO0 library on the Raspberry Pi, laying the foundation for more complex IoT projects that involve sensor inputs and controlling various actuators based on input events. Python on PyBoard PyBoard is a compact and powerful electronics development board running MicroPython. The features and functionality of Python on PyBoard Compact and powerful development board PyBoard is a compact yet powerful electronics development board designed to work with MicroPython. MicroPython support PyBoard runs MicroPython, a lightweight implementation of Python specifically optimized for microcontrollers. USB connectivity PyBoard connects to a PC via USB, providing a USB flash drive interface to store Python scripts and a serial Python prompt, REPL, for instant programming. Platform compatibility, PyBoard is compatible with Windows, macOS, and Linux operating systems, making it accessible for developers across different platforms. PyBoard uses MicroPython, a lightweight implementation of Python 3, optimized for microcontrollers and constrained environments. MicroPython includes a small subset of the Python standard library to conserve resources. The built-in PYB module on PyBoard provides functions and classes to control various peripherals such as I2C, UART, ADC, DAC, and SPI, enabling easy interaction with hardware components on the board. PyBoard's integration with MicroPython and its USB connectivity make it a suitable choice for developing resource-constrained IoT applications. Its portability and compatibility with multiple operating systems offer a flexible development environment for various IoT projects. ESP8266 and 32 Spanish Pesetas are widely used microcontrollers that can be programmed to run MicroPython, a lightweight implementation of the Python programming language. These microcontrollers are popular choices for Internet of Things, IoT, projects due to their low power consumption, high performance, and built-in Wi-Fi capabilities. MicroPython allows developers to write Python scripts and run them directly on these microcontrollers, enabling seamless integration with IoT devices and Wi-Fi networks.
This provides a convenient and familiar development environment for Python developers, allowing them to leverage their Python skills to create IoT applications. With MicroPython on ESP8266 and 32 Spanish pesetas, developers can build a wide range of IoT devices, such as smart home devices, environmental monitoring systems, weather stations, and more. The combination of Python's ease of use and the capabilities of these microcontrollers makes them a powerful platform for IoT development. Moreover, the ability to use MicroPython on ESP8266 and 32 Spanish pesetas provides the flexibility to connect these devices to cloud services, web servers, and other IoT platforms, enabling seamless data exchange and interaction with other devices on the network. To use MicroPython on ESP8266 or 32 Spanish pesetas, you can install the ESP tool module using the page IP installer in the command line. The syntax for installing the module is as follows, pip install ESP tool, this command will download and install the ESP tool module, which is necessary for flashing MicroPython firmware onto the 8266 Spanish pesetas or 32 Spanish pesetas microcontroller. Once the ESP tool module is installed, you can proceed with the MicroPython installation process on your chosen microcontroller. The provided code demonstrates how to control an LED using MicroPython on a microcontroller. For example, ESP8266 or 32 Spanish pesetas. Let's break down the code step by step. The code starts by importing the necessary modules. It imports the pin class from the machine module, which allows access to the microcontroller's GPIO pins, and the time module for time-related operations. The next line creates an object-led pin of the pin class. It initializes the GPIO pin number 2, pin 2, as an output pin, pin, out. This pin will be used to control the LED. The code enters a while true loop which means the following actions will be repeated indefinitely. Inside the loop, the code calls LED pin on to turn on the LED connected to the GPIO pin. After turning the LED on, the code uses time sleep one to introduce a one second delay. This means the LED will remain on for one second before the next action. Following the delay, the code calls LED pin dot off to turn off the LED. The code then uses another time, sleep, 1, to introduce a 1 second delay again, making the LED remain off for 1 second. The loop continues this pattern indefinitely, resulting in the LED blinking on and off at a 1 second interval. In summary, this MicroPython code controls an LED connected to GPIO pin 2 on the microcontroller and makes it blink on and off at regular intervals, creating a simple flashing effect. As explained in the previous slide, here is a short explanation saying the code uses MicroPython and demonstrates LED control using the GPIO pin. It imports the pin and time modules, creates an object of pin, and toggles the LED on and off in a loop. MicroPython has some limitations compared to regular Python, but it offers a cost-effective option for IoT projects compared to buying a Pi board. Thank you for viewing this course on Internet of Things, IoT. We hope you found it informative and valuable in understanding the concepts and applications of IoT. Also hope, learning about IoT and its enabling technologies has added to your existing knowledge. Happy learning and exploring the fascinating world of technology.